ladies, so here we go again with another makeup video. I am basically on a roll with these makeup looks. So the first things first is provide skin type 1 through 6 just for some moisturizer. And of course, as I've used in my last video, this is the LA Girls Pro Prep and Primer for your face. I like the texture of this because it's more like silicone based. So I don't like the primers that are more lotion-y like. I like the ones that are more or less like the silicone um, texture. So I am placing the NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil on my eyelid here just for my eyeshadow to basically adhere to my lids. And for a crisper eyeshadow line, I'm going to go ahead and place some scotch tape at the ends of my eyes. So that way my eyeshadow doesn't fall and also it just like I said gives it a crisp line now this here is the NYX blush tester palette which I got from NYX.com a couple years ago and I'm going to be using the blush on my eye which is the PB22 yes I'm not really sure if NYX still carries these but they are basically starter kits for those who want to sell makeup or what have you and it comes with a load of stuff I never really wanted to sell it I just really wanted the stuff and it comes with a load of stuff so that is one of the palettes and I never really used them at all so today I'm going to start to use them so like I said I'm just going to take that blush because it's a pretty bronzy like color and I'm going to sweep it over the top lid and this is just for my transition color I'm trying to change up my transition color a little bit but I do like like soft browns and things like that now into the NYX the Caribbean collection this is a five shadow collection and of course they do sell these single but I'm going to go ahead and use that dark light frost eyeshadow in there and I'm using the Dillium um, high shadow brush this is the contour eyeshadow brush so it's more or less angled and it gives a great precise line for if you want to go into your crease so I'm just going to take that dark brown and go back and forth and kind of give the crease a sharp look and a little bit of smoke it out a little bit now into that same palette I'm going to take that more or less eggshell white color and place that on my brow bone now I'm gonna be honest and tell you I really don't do like these colors on my brow bone because I like a little bit more subtle color um, so I'm gonna to try to blend this in the best of my ability as you can see here and it all depends really on the eyeshadow color you're using so I decided that wasn't the color I wanted so I'm gonna go back into this kinda of like off antique white um, color it's a matte color out of the LA colors con contour palette I use this like a lot in my videos I don't really use it for contouring but I love it for my eyes it works both ways either or you can contour with it you can use eyeshadow with it it's all good now back into the blush palette I'm going to go ahead and give a little bit more transition now this is going to be a two for one video so a lot of these products that I'm using not the tester kits but a lot of these inexpensive products that I'm using you can surely pick up from sister21.com that is a cosmetic website where they have loads of LA girls NYX LA colors clean colors you name it really inexpensive makeup so you can go ahead and get that makeup game on point build up your makeup collection and so forth now this here is the gold NYX jumbo pencil and I'm just just going to use that just as the same as I did with the milk pencil this is going to be for the next shadow that I'm going to be using which I recently picked up at Ulta um, for Valentine's Day and this one is also going to be by NYX as soon as I finish doing this part here so here it goes this is liquid gold and it's a beautiful color you can either wet it or do it dry I've decided to try it wet but yeah a lot of these products you can get from sister21.com and like I said, it's a two for one video. So you will be seeing a wig tutorial as part of this video here at the end. Some super short hair, something that I don't do a lot of, but you know what? It's time to change it up. It's getting super hot outside. It is like 89 degrees. So yes, it is time to go for some short hair. Now just onto the lower lid, I'm just going to place that gold as you've seen. And I'm also going to sweep it up just a little bit into the crease, just a little bit. One of my new favorite marker eyeliners is by Wet n Wild and this is their Pro Graphic Eyeliner. I love this liner because the tip is actually angled so you can do a really great winged look. And like I say in all my videos, I am not that great with doing winged eyeliner looks. Sometimes it can take me a minute.
Now to prime my face, I'm going to go ahead and use the LA Girl Pro Prep Primer. First time I used it was just for my eyelids, but now I'm going to go ahead and use that for my entire face. So that way I can get ready to put a little bit of colors onto my skin. And before I do that, I'm just going to spruce up that eyelid just a little bit with that color, that bright color brown from LA Colors Contour Palette while that primer sets into my skin and dries a little bit. Now it's time to brighten up underneath my eyes and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in yellow. And I'm going to be sweeping that across and blending that in with one of my favorite brushes by Serio. I think that's how you pronounce the name, but I'll post their information below. Now this here is my new favorite foundation by Too Faced. It is called Born This Way Foundation and it is in the color Honey. This foundation is like amazing, okay? I really wasn't going to buy it because it was $39, but I said I'm going to try it. So first of all, it's medium to full coverage. This is one layer that I'm placing onto my skin, which is more than enough and it gives me full coverage. But this foundation actually lasts for hours, like really. It is a water-based um, foundation. So, which makes it really, really good for my skin because a lot of times I can get oily and I don't like to mix moisturizers that have oil in it along with water-based foundations because they will separate over time or after a couple of minutes or hours. So it's always best to use a water-based primer and a water-based foundation at the same time. One of my new items here is the NYX Contour Cream and the NYX contour and highlight palette which is a cream product i do like this i'm going to be using the highlight portion underneath my eyes with my beauty blender sponge by real techniques which i highly suggest this is one of the best sponges ever invented like i love this sponge a lot and I'm just going to place that all onto the areas where I want highlighted at. And of course my sponge is a little damp. Now I'm going to set my uh, highlight with the NYX Compact Press Powder in Soft Beige. I'm just going to let that sit on my face for a few minutes. And while that sits on my face, I'm going to go ahead and take that contour color out of that same NYX Cream Contour Palette. And I'm going to go ahead and chisel out my nose and my cheeks as well as my cupid's bow and my hairline area. I'm just going to take that damp sponge again and I'm going to blend that out really well. And you always wanna make sure that your sponge is damp and just blend, 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 but don't blend too much because you may blend it away and have to reapply it. And I've done that quite a few times. Now, one of my new favorite palettes is the Wonderlust Go-To Palette by NYX which I actually did a video on already and I'll post the link below. This comes with six eyeshadows. I think it's six or eight eyeshadows, a contour, a highlight, and a blush. And I love this palette a lot. So I did use some of the eyeshadow for underneath my eyes as well as I did use a little bit of the contour color on my cheeks. Now for that plumish purple in that same palette, I'm going to go ahead and sweep that underneath my eyes just for a little definition. And back into the Caribbean palette, I'm going to go ahead and use that lightly frosted dark brown. Just for some volume to my lashes, I'm going to be applying LA Girl Super Mega Mascara. This is a really great mascara and you can also find this on Sister21.com for a really, really affordable price. I'm applying that to my individual lashes, which I do wear all the time. I don't do the strips, but I will be doing a video soon on applying the strips for a makeup look. Now to dust off at excess powder, I also did apply some of my Milani Press Powder onto my face here with my Sonia Kashuk brush. I like this brush a lot because it's very soft and it just goes really well with the Milani Facial Powder. I love that facial powder. Now back into that palette here, this is the highlight, which I really do like this highlight color. This is one color that I've been looking for for the longest, and I've never tried a cream highlight, but it works really well. Now to 
bronze out my cheeks i'm going to be using the nick Bl nyx blush in pb21 out of that tester palette these palettes or these testers come really in handy um, i have several of them so i'm going to start using them more often and just to line my lips i'm using the nyx lip liner in dark brown which also came with that kit and on my lips i'm also going to be applying the nyx jumbo pencil in french fry of course it's not a lipstick but it's a cosmetic so it works all the same now onto the hair this one here is by outre and it is 100 percent human hair and she is called pixie flare something super short ladies um it's in the color number two as you can see right here very stylish and very chic for the summertime it'll also keep you super cool so that is one reason why i wanted to try this wig out but i really wasn't a fan of the way it was styled as you can see this is the way it's supposed to be brushed but i'm going to use my aussie instant freeze hairspray and i'm going to just basically brush it a different direction versus how they had it styled on the actual model i didn't think that style went for me so i'm going to go ahead and brush it out of place and then brush it to the other side i liked it to the other side a lot better it just fit my face um just certain ways i like my hair to the left or to the right it all depends on the mood i'm in but yeah so here we go a little more hairspray and I'm almost done. But this is a beautiful, gorgeous wig. You can pick her up at Sister20, um, SisterWigs.com, which is Sister21's sister site. So they have a wig site and a cosmetic site. And they have very affordable wigs on their website as well as the cosmetic site. So you can check them out for hair care products and weaving hair and just wigs in general. Now to taper that wig a little bit on the side, I'm going to go ahead and trim it hairspray her down like i said she's 100 percent human hair so she is heat friendly ladies you can style her the way you want but i think she's really sophisticated and super cute especially for this weather very cutely tapered and yes i'm feeling the entire look i hope you girls enjoyed the video today and like i said you can check out sister21.com and sisterwigs.com below i'll post all their information and as always stay diva and delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe and i'll see you on my next video bye